Generic greetings, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we managed to take over another couple of cities. As you can see, we have three cities currently under our control fully. One, two, and then three. And the one on the right here, we've just taken over, so it's just started a gentle takeover, and that'll make it four once that's done. Our objective, really, for this episode is to repel all invaders, which I think we'll actually have quite a bit of, and also probably build up some defensive structures in uh, Kranzberg which we're actually going for that we're building a black citadel and over in Catwick. Um, so what we'll be doing is cracking on with that and hopefully taking out this guy as well. So we've essentially got this entire island to ourselves. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. What I want to do though, uh, and there's been several comments about this, is maybe go ahead and build a defensive structure, actually design one. Now, I don't really know if that's really strictly necessary. In terms of defenses, this thing here is fairly efficient. As you can see, it's one, two, three cannons pointing forward, one pointing aft, and then you've got three flak above it so actually your disadvantage really is if they get around the back that's where your weak spot is but considering they're gonna have to go and you know weather through three cannons and then weather through three flak guns if they get there then good luck to them and these really are more more sort of I guess deterrent than anything else it stops ninja capping so they can't come with just one small tiny ship and then nick it and then run away uh we're putting them there just to sort of stop that but um i'm just oh unpa i unpaused a second there just to see what would happen and immediately this guy is going towards me and this is something that's going to cause me a little bit of an issue so it's actually got just as far as i can see it's just got um air stuff so what i'm going to do is click on the flame tank move the rest of the airships over there Use the flame tanking turn, the in, in the invading one, and actually invade. Ah, there we go. Look, they've actually turned back round. What a surprise. <laughs> they turned back round as soon as I uh, sent something away. Yes, yes, that's what I thought would happen. Let's pause it a second and actually repair um, these zeppelins and stuff because they are very, very damaged. Now, there's one thing that someone posted in the comments which I actually thought was uh, quite good. And they said that the problem we have really is that these are quite spaced out, right? And because we are surrounded and there's a lot of airships flying in, we have an issue with response time. And essentially, if someone starts charging generic and we're down in uh, Catwick, these things are very slow. They've only got sails on. They don't have any engine-powered um, propellers or anything like that. They don't, no, no props, no nothing like that to get it going quickly. What we need is a fast response vehicle. And I think that is actually a genius idea. So that's what we're going to be building. We're going to go to design ship and we want to make something that is extremely fast. Um, obviously an airship. We don't want a ground one. We want to be able to go anywhere. Extremely fast. Not necessarily high in terms of its uh, overall service ceiling and um, how high it can go with lift. Uh, and probably not very well armoured. In fact, not, probably not even well armed. What we really need to, to do is make a thing that is very fast and very universal. So something that can get into a location before the opponent or even maybe even just after our interception. Um, and then once you've done that, you can stop whatever they have against you. Now that's a pretty tall order and I think the only way we can do it is by going for probably a suspendium chamber because that gives us a service ceiling of, well, currently 2,000 metres, but obviously we're not going to be nowhere near that once we put the other stuff in. Uh, and then in terms of speed, we have to go for probably the fastest thing we can get, which is going to be a large propeller, which as you can see generates 270 propulsion, whereas the engine pod is ooh, 200 propulsion. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's actually the fastest then, is it? Uh, well, not 270, 200. Uh, I think it is going to be the large propeller, isn't it? This thing here. So probably that is the way to go. And we want this thing to fly extremely fast, get into an area, and then destroy the opponent. In terms of destroying the opponent, that's the problem. Because I don't really know what sort of weapons we'd go with. If at all, actually, now that I come to think of it, perhaps a boarding vessel is the way to go. Two marine barracks. Get in there really quick and board them. That might not be a terrible idea, you know. Get in there very, very quickly, board them, and go from there. I think that's the way we're going to do it, you know. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what we'll do. We'll have a boarding vessel. Charge forward. Make a very, very sleek design here. Charge forward. 
get right near them, board the vessel. Decent service ceiling, very good speed, is probably the way forward on this. Don't need repair, don't need guns of any kind. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. Because essentially we just need a... It, it means you're cutting out a lot of things such as... Um, well, you don't need sick bay, you don't need repair bays, anything like that. It is just to stop. It's a reactionary vessel, essentially. So, we'll go, we'll work on that premise. We'll work on the premise that um, we're going to uh, have this as a, a boarding vessel of some kind. So, we do need some crew, and you can see air sailors 12, uh, and marines 16, recommend a crew 10. So, we're actually already done, essentially, if we do that. But perhaps mm, we'll put that further back, pull that off. We'll pull... Do we need that many? No, we, we, we're trying to make this as cheap as possible, really, because we want quite a few of them. And this is uh, already getting a bit expensive. Uh, 727, yeah. Okay. Uh, the problem is coal uh, and, and the fact that it will set on fire and uh, kill us if we get shot at. So we might have to go... For, we might have to change the armor, but we'll see how it goes. We could also put a sail on if we really wanted to, or another propeller. <laughs> Just put a sail up there. <laughs> Does it actually say what it's a uh, labor intensive way of moving our ship about? Propulsion 50 requires three crew members. We could just have several sails on this thing, which I have seen done before. And I'm going to pull that off. One there, one there. Um, they won't work for some reason. Ah, because these don't have a, a way to go up. Let's have a... We won't have berths. We'll have in basic... It'll be... Actually, it won't be in basic. Well, it will be in basic. It's just easier to find it. In structural. So, we want a corridor. And do that. And that'll make this thing quite fast indeed. Do we want it that long is the question. I think that's about right. I think we're okay there. We'll put another one there. We will have it going... We won't have it... I was going to say go further up and have a crow's nest, but we don't need a crow's nest. You might notice I've gone for a... Uh, a bridge rather than a... I keep forgetting the name of them. The rather than a cockpit because we can order things faster. And when you've got a boarding vessel, it is pretty much top priority. You do need to order things faster. Uh, we do have a Gatling gun, which is an interesting one. I didn't realise that we had that. Uh, I am going to put a grenade on the front. As well as, in resources, some small ammo store like that. Just so we can have some sort of weapon. We just need some sort of weapon on this thing. So let's have a quick look at what we are on so far. It's 953, so not terribly expensive. Uh, service ceiling of 93 meters. That's probably a little bit low for my liking. If we move one of these, you can see it drastically increases it. So these are quite heavy. Uh, if we leave them on, it says uh, our speed is... Uh, 46. So actually, if you look, removing all of those doesn't even... Yeah, it doesn't do anything. We're actually faster with them out, with, with them not there. It looked cool, but it's not efficient. It doesn't work that way, sadly, which is a crying shame. Oh, well. So we can actually cut down a lot of this then, because we don't need the air sailors. Air sailors 24. Recommend a crew 12. So we can actually pull that off and just reduce this down like that. Have it a lot lot smaller, really. If any, if we want to do anything else, we can... Uh, do we want to pull this back? I mean, is there any reason to keep it stacked up like that? Not really. Hmm... I don't like the idea of the ammo store there, although it's not terribly inefficient. Uh, you know what I'll do? What we'll do, we'll go for struts here. We'll put a couple of struts on the front. And something like that. And what about weapons? What if we have a ramming prow? problem with ramming prows is the very heavy ram. Yeah, they reduce our service ceiling massively. Okay, so we'll just have these as just like a bit of a, a bit of a buffer. So if we hit something, then that's all right. That's cool. Although we could go for a deck gun. Mm, no, 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 no. The objective is to just keep this thing as light as possible, cheap as possible, charge in their board. We, we've already made something like this, but we wanted to... 
go through it again. Um, in terms of the call, this is probably going to run out of call very quickly, but we don't care. We just want to get in there, use it, bump, done. Armor. It's current wood. Um, if we go for steel armor and fill it, it does really increase the the cost of this thing, as you can see. It goes up to 999. And more importantly, service ceiling is 97, speed is 36. Whereas if we go for wooden armor, um, yeah, the service ceiling is much higher and the speed is not reduced as well. Steel wall, would steel wall be better? Well, probably. Um, steel wall has less HP, but it does absorb more damage. Ah, uh, yeah, it's very, very light. Uh, massive stone wall, do you reckon that'll... <laughs> yeah, look, service ceiling, minus 47 meters, oh dear. Okay, so we're going to stick with the wooden armor, there we go. I'll go for decoration, we will have a small coat of arms uh, on it, like so, and we'll have a nameplate about there. So this is going to be called the Gav... Um, the Reactington. Because it is about reacting. We will save the design, save that there, and we will build one. Okay, so as I said, the objective is to have that as a reactionary vessel. Speaking of reactionary vessels, uh, they've started to come towards me. And uh, on Kranzberg, which I've got a defense, I've, I've already got stuff there. But I'm going to move that there and then actually invade with my vessel. Ah, oh, fire caused by a foreign agent destroyed the Black Citadel at Chatwick. Oh, Catwick. You may need to strengthen your empire's secret police. But it's there. That's where it's... That's where it's... Well, that's where it is there. I don't understand, then. I don't really care too much about that, to be honest with you. I mean, that, well, I do care, but there's nothing much I can do about it, because it's... Yeah. No, oh, well. Whatever. Uh, let's just... It, it, it's, it must have been a prone that was left there previously. It must have been the one that I took over. Let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, we can't, because we're doing a gentle takeover. We will go to... This one here, and we'll say defences, and we've already got one. That's fine, actually. We will go for in Kudair build ship, and we want to have the Reactington. There we are. Okay, so that's getting built. What we'll do? We will invade Guildfield. Actually, no. You know what? We'll probably we'll probably meet up first. You move to there. Gather up. I don't like the way they're... They're sorting... They're moving stuff around here. The problem is I've got all of my forces now committed on this uh, side. What I'm going to have to do is go to uh, build ship. How much is the Zeppington? The Zeppington is 1,500. I want to get a couple of Zeppingtons, actually. But we'll see what happens. So we're going to go for Guildfield. Here we go. This is... One that's going to be, oh, quite difficult by the look of it. So, what we have is four defensive structures. It looks like they've got a lot of firepower facing the wrong way. The guns are pointing right, guns are pointing right, guns are pointing right, guns are pointing right. Ah! <laughs> well, I'm not really too worried about this now, but they do have two of these um, deck gun type things, which can go up and shoot me. And they also have this... Thing. Actually, they've got two things. This thing, which is Erebus. It looks like a... I was going to say boarding vessel, but I can't see what uh, what stuff they've got on them in terms of weapons. This one, again, not really too sure. Not really too sure. What I do know is that I am very, very low to the ground with this thing. And... Oh, I haven't repaired it. I've got a gun missing. These ones, however, we will move up. Very successful, these things. have been doing quite well for themselves. But we, what we need to do is probably pull them back over a little bit. Because if this thing is like a flame vessel or a boarding vessel, we don't want it right next to it. Because when we start, uh, it will give us a bit of an issue. So we're going to select all of these. We'll say move and then we'll move up. And we'll see if we can get above its uh, general height. And we'll say this one ram. And we want to ram right to there. And here we go. So, it is going to try its best and move forward, although it is not working out. We're going to have to ram it back and forward, back and forward. These ones we will move, and obviously, I cannot... I cannot yet issue any commands to the bottom ones, because they do take a little bit longer. Oh my good grief, yep, yeah, something got hit. Uh, 
Yep, that's the vital part again. It's just some suspendium chambers. They're just made of explosions and strife. Right, you move. Move over to there. Look, you see the service ceiling's been dropped now to this line. Not really too bothered yet. I can, as long as I can get close to the enemy, I'm not too bad. This one is... I don't know what it's trying to do, but it's... Um, it's, it is bombing me, and the problem now is that I am not able to go forward. When this fell in the ground, it's 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 damaged itself. It's damaged the ground too much. So I'm just getting bombed. That's a bomber, by the way. I've just uh, figured this out. We'll say that move up. This one can move over to... We've got a massive screen shake going on here. Over to there. This is not going too well. So this one, again, ram to there. Here we go. Let's see if we can get over the ground and just chisel a bit of the ground out. No, it's not going to make it. Okay, I'm going to flee. I'm going to flee. There's no reason for me to just wave in and lose all that stuff. And the problem is they're coming to Catwick, which is something I... Oh, no, they just managed to. Just managed to get there. So we'll repair all of these. We will repair that thing and we'll repair the rest of it. They are... Looks like these guys are fighting each other, which is something I... I'm happy to see because it means I might actually be able to do something. Um, however, this guy is moving over there. So what I need to do is get the reacting tin. Um, so over here and move. Now this is where hopefully the speed of this will show. Yes, look at the speed in which that can get around the place. Oh my good grief. Do you see? Look at the speed. Wow. I knew it was going to be speedy, but I didn't think it was going to be that fast. Hell's bells. <laughs> wow. Okay, fine. Um, We'll go back to here. Coup d'air. We've got to build ship. We'll have another one of those. The speed in which it flew around there. Ooh, that's what we want to see. Right, Catwick. Defences. We, we do have technically some defences, but I think we'll scrap those, to be completely honest with you, because they are fairly poor. Uh, but we will go for build building. Oh, we can't build this black citadel. Oh, well. Fine. We'll just sit here. The, sp the speed! The problem is now is they're gathering up here. Their forces are gathering, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Defences. Build building. Black citadel. Okay. And put it back. I've been I've taken a bit of flack from actually putting it further forward on the other ones. Like if I go here, I put it further forward. Where a lot of people have said actually you want to move it pretty much right at the back because then that means that if they come towards you, then you know they, they take more it takes more time for them to get there. And once they get there, they can't really go around the back if it's a ve big vessel. So you know what you are you are completely right about that one. And uh, that's why I'm going to move these back. Uh, move. And back over. There we go. There are some disadvantages, but uh, I think it's offset by the advantages. Right, so we are building in here the Black Citadel. We're building the Reacting Tin there. We've recovered from the War Engine American. These guys are moving vessels around, and looks like they are... The, the building up in Fjordan, which is a bit weird. Let me... What I'm going to do is actually send a spy over there. I'm going to use my spy to view this city, and we can see what they've got. We've already we've, we've already seen it, but um, I'm just seeing if I can scrap it, which I can't. So we'll leave that one. Um, my question is, could I do a multi-pronged attack? Could I send the Reactingtons at the back, and when their vessels, these ones, move round, I then sneak in this way? Would that work? Would it not? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to send a spy... And then I'll try it out. There's another reacting tin. Move it there. Look at the speed. Oh, yeah, right. You're really, you're really coming towards me like that. Okay, fine. I will, um... To be honest with you, I'm just going to... I'm going to spy active. View city. They have... One one structure. Right. So I'm going to get these reacting tins. Move them right over the back. Take these guys. Invade Gilfield here. So they're going to have to come and defend that. But look at that. Straight away, I can fly right there. And I'm next to them. This one can move down to here. This one can also move down to here. This one can stay a little bit further up. The reason I'm doing that is I need to dodge these suspendium rocks. And if I get clipped just once, then it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Let's start this fight. I'm going to say those move and then move right to there. And go, go, go. Let's see how fast they are. Oh my good grief, they are very, very fast. I didn't expect them to be that fast. And immediately, you can see, I actually have command of these as well. Because of um, the speed in which I... Uh, because of the... Uh, things I've put on. You can hear it going ding, 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 ding. There you go. There's the boarding. Pull these back. There's the boarding. Go up to here. You come right down. 
There we go. There's the boarding. Pull that right down. Yeah, because of the... Because of the... Um, the bridges, I can board very, very quickly. You can see these guys are jumping onto one ship and then onto the other. I am losing, oh, engine, and that's going to be a lot of problems for me. But we are meeting heavy resistance at the Iron Fort, apparently. But we've boarded it and captured it, and victory, job done. We'll go for a gentle takeover, and then we will move straight into here. Uh, actually, can we meet up to those? Mm, oh, we're moving to there. I don't want to move to there. I want to move to th there, but... Mm, Problem is I want to meet up with those. Move back. Move back. We'll gather up and then we'll all go. Actually, no, do I really want to do that? I want them all to fight together. The problem is that when they gather up, they go at the slowest pace. And I really don't want to have them together like that. Um, we'll go to View City, by the way, and see what they've got. These guys have went... Oh, this is the victory. Look at that tank. It's got two flak, one dorsal cannon... Plus three forward cannons. That's a fairly big tank, that. This one is the Challenger. I don't really know what it's armed with, apart from a couple of cannons and some guns either side. This one, again, is a fairly big brick. And in terms of defences, they are building... Oh, that monstrosity. Okay, right, fine. That's going to cause me some issues, I think. Anyway, let us move this down and... Invade. We won't invade at the same time, but yeah, we've got these first. You know what? We'll use the reactionary vessels first to... I wouldn't even say soften them up, but we'll just start that. These can immediately move straight away. If we can take over the forts, we might do okay. This is also a bit of an interesting, like, how fast can we really make an attack? Problem is that obviously there's a lot of forts, so we'll take over the middle one because then it means you can start firing um, from the ones either side. You see, uh, and you can see they're jumping on the suspendium rock and then trying to go down, but they're not managing to do it. Damn it! I'm gonna have to go down. But yeah, they're jumping on the suspendium rock to try and then go down, but they're not doing it. Mm, that's annoying because I can't tell them to do anything else. The only thing I can do is ground the ship, which then lands the ship on top of the rock and then slowly pushes the rock down, in which case they'll climb down and, yeah, they can't do it. They can't do it. Uh, right. Okay, the only other thing I can do, honestly, and this is a bit risky. Uh, there you go, look, it's managed to... Oh, it's happened. The, the rock's went further down. That's fine. Those, I will say, board ship that one. And... Come on, go down. Board the ship. Board the vessel. I am losing the reacting ton there. This one is already out. This one is captured and they're firing at each other. This one is getting boarded. I will ground this ship here, which will then land on top of this one. He says. It's not happened at all. I've lost uh, this reacting ton. Good grief, this is starting to get a bit naughty. The other two are on fire. I am trying to board, but as you can see, what's happened is... I've been repelled on this one, and a lot of the troops up here are stuck. This fort is captured, though. The Reactingtons are pretty much dead now, which is a great shame. Yep, there you go, they've gone. But they are destroying their own fort. I mean, one fort's already completely ruined. This airship is gone. I think there was another one somewhere. This one is captured. This one is exploding for some reason. And they're just firing at each other. So, munitions on fire. You think? Yep, I think. Oh, and they've, oh, they've got... There's the other airship. Defeat. We've had a defeat. Okay. But uh, as soon as I unpause it, we, uh, we'll go into a fight, I think. We'll move back. And there we go. Another fight straight away. Because... <laughs> that's right. We have to um, have another fight with these vessels now. So let's just see how this goes. So they've got <laughs> a little bit of whatever's left of that one. There was another one here. I think that's completely gone. This one is half and this one is pretty much okay. But if we can quickly do a a quick sort of ninja across, we'll be all right. So I'm, I want to say that move over to there. That'll move quickly. These ones will have to 
move very far forward and very quickly. This one is on top of a tree, and the reason I did that is because I didn't want it to fall into the same hole that I dug for myself. I'm getting bombed by the, the, the smaller vessel here, as you can see. Bombed away there, but not really too worried about that. I can weather a hit. If you go to outside view, you can see this is fairly well arm armoured. Um, going through trees and... Yep, we've lost some more stuff. Gonna give them a right good pounding here. Come on, give them a good mincing. Here we go, once the flame goes. And there's the fire. That's what we wanted to see. Right, I've said ram further forward. It's not working. Uh, ram to there? No, it can't go. F it can't go any further forward. But this one pulled down. Bombs away on the top there, which is working. This one we will. Well, I have to pull this further back a bit. What I need to do is get a bit more speed in order to ram that. The problem is I'll probably ground myself. This one is not yet commandable, but we'll say ram to there, and here we go. And it's not going to do too much. Oh, no, we can't get over it. Okay, fine. But anything here is pretty much dying. I think it's pretty much dead. Uh, we could say board. We could say board, but we might have some issues. Mm, we'll go for another ram. We'll pull back. There we go. And here we go again. Forward, forward, forward. And it keeps slowing down. Yeah, it tries to go over. It's just not able to do that. Okay, we'll say board and we'll say board that one. Let's see what happens. So they're going to climb down, jump off. Uh, they are walking past. They're walking through the flame, which is very, very brave of them. There's the bombs coming down there. They are going to board this one here. We've taken control of the rampart. Yep, I can clearly see that. And what I want to do is... Well, there we go. We've already got a cannon firing away. So this is working. I am running out of ammo, though, which is... A little bit worrying, but there's the victory and um, gentle takeover, and that's it. We have managed to destroy all of these guys. <sighs> Took long enough though, didn't it? Right, okay, so the Zeppington, mini Zeppington go back there. We do have a Reactington apparently back, which is good. We will go to build ship and build some more Reactingtons. We do need a lot more Reactingtons. The advantage of a Reactington is that they're actually very cheap. So, taking over these two areas. We do have giant spiders, so we will need to re resolve that. Um, I just thought, can you kill giant spiders with boarding vessels? I'm not sure. I've never tried it. Well, I know what's happening next episode. Next episode, we will try and kill giant spiders with boarding. Unless you say that's a terrible idea, in which case I won't. Right, so, I'm just building more ships here, the Reactingtons. Need to make a nice fleet of those, gather them together in the central point, probably Kudair, and then see what happens. Currently, situation is a lot better than it's probably ever been, although, to be fair, what might happen is these two guys might gang up on me. So I've got only... I've got these guys on the right-hand side on the, on the island, which is problematic. I think they're my next target. Make sure that this flank, or right, this entire line here, my entire western side is covered and defended from those two. And then take these two out. Get rid of those, and then that means essentially that everything from this line is mine. No problem whatsoever. And then we'll go left and see how it goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.